Good morning, and it's time finally to get on with the last Mega Man Game Boy game I haven't played through, which, funnily enough, is the first one, because I historically not like this game, but that's all going to change. I, could, I, I, I need to go through it at some point, and I need to stutter a lot and do my usual really crappy playing. You know what it's like. You know, it's not like I'm going to make my own website or anything, you know. I should know this series, it's not like I should know this series off by heart. Anyway, this is Mega Man 1 for the Game Boy. Uh, unlike the other Game Boy games, you get a selection of only four bosses. Still, uh, I think the main reason I haven't played this before is because it's difficulty level is like, sort of set a tad high for my liking. Hmm. Oh, I like the stage next week, though. Anyway, it's time to actually get on with this, so I've got um, a nice old drink here, which is Relentless. No weird name on it. Strangely enough, it just says Apple and Kiwi. This should be an interesting flavour. Hmm. Oh, wow, that is lovely. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's probably one of the nicest energy drinks I've ever had. Wow, that is... That is uh, that's lovely! <laughs> That's probably in my good mood. That is absolutely gorgeous. Unlike this game. Um, actually, this game is quite graphically actually pretty good for the Game Boy. Um, it managed to be better graphically than the Mega Man 2, funnily enough. <laughs> uh, work that one out. Oh, oh, nearly! I've never quite made it past that trap without taking damage. To tad on the unfair side. Anyway, you may be wondering why the hell am I going with Lechman first? Um, for whatever reason, Lechman's a lot easier in this game. If his stage isn't that, actually that bad, it's sort of doable out with weapons and stuff, so let's do this. It's the other stages that really get me. Obviously, although these, um. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Bloody vertical stages. Oh, well, this place was off a good start. Note to self, you have a jump button. You may want to use it occasionally. Oh, well, this didn't fall back all the way to the start, or else we take another hit from that energy beam. Oh, let's try that again. And jump! No! Oh. Oh. no! Oh, God. Well, this went much better than the practice recordings. <laughs> you know, I did a practice recording of this, and I had nowhere near as much trouble with this simple chat. It's really as simple. There we go! Simple. God. It's not the best to start. Alright, so we could do some health, please. Come on, Susie, drop some. That's not health. I think you find that's actually useless weapon energy. Because I've got no weapon, I've only got the Mega Bus to be considerate at least. Did you die? Thank you. Stop with the weapon energy, please! Take pity on this poor Let's Player. It's absolutely terrible late. The world would look awkward. Hello, Thunderlords. They look a bit. This shading looks almost backwards. It's strange. It's just like the dark parts should be. White and the white part should be dark, and I, I don't understand that shade. It's really odd looking. Okay, doing not uh, well, doing terribly, but we're still I haven't died or anything yet. That's a good sign, right? Uh, oh, you would land on the spikes, really? Uh, I don't see the point of the block puzzle here. It's a bit simple. There's like no point to it. You might as well just have like a little platform. Because that's all essentially that bit is. More Susie's in ugly, stupid places. I'm not gonna complain. I quite like when we're in stupid places. Ah, that's another fan. Timing! Oh god. No, oh, no, 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 no. Run, Mega Man, run! Whew. Oh, look at me too. Open up, please. No. Ah, timing. 
Here we go. More Susies, and obviously want to try to eliminate all these before we've been gone. Come on, power up. Aww. God. Definitely want to take that one out beforehand. Yup. Moving belt puzzles aren't actually that bad in this game. Oh god, this. Timing is just awkward on those. You really have no time to spare. You can't be like a split second out of what you want to get hit. No, thank you. Please. No. Health would be useful. Get some health back before fighting the. Reaching Lechman would be quite nice. Oh god. Oh, you would do a little jump! You get! Well, I'm probably not going to beat the boss in my first life, I can tell you that much. Um, there is a strategy to left man, but I can't get it consistent. Um, there's clearly a way to pattern lock him, but I just can't seem to manage it. Whoa! Nice opening move there, Lek. Oh, just, basically, whoa! Will you please do your pattern? Oh, it's never been that aggressive before. Oh god. Right, um, time to explain the pattern a bit. Right, okay. Pattern. He does have one. Um, it, that was strangely aggressive of him. Um, it's because I'm recording. Oh god. Basically, if you shoot at him, he should, he should jump. He's got sort of the Crash Man pattern. But, um... Whoa! Stop being so aggressive, man! You're not meant to be this aggressive. So here's the sort of pattern, but every so often you'll just break it. There we go. That wasn't too bad. See, that was easy. If you keep pattern locking, it's easy, but every so often it'll just go, I'm gonna spaz out on you and go up some utterly, utterly aggressive. Still, the main reason I want to go with Lake Man first is just to get this weapon, because this is basically the Buster replacement for the game. Now, I know normally I try and go Mega Buster only against bosses, but I may break that for this game. Because this is classic, classic Mega Man, and unlike, say, Mega Man 2 on a game where the bosses really don't get any hit and run ability. Here they, they do, and it's just going to try to drag out, and basically, the older Mega Man games are really old ones that balanced around you doing loads of damage to the enemy, and the enemy doing loads of damage to you. So, it's sort of really unfair. Oh, ice physics. Oh, what was I going to expect? It's Iceman ah, stage. Oh, I will, I will, if I've got the life spare, I might. I will attempt bosses with the uh, Buster, but no promises. <laughs> the ice man, I think he kills you on three hits or something. I think generally the older the Mega Man games, the damage ratio is pretty much equal between you and the bosses. Oh, <sighs> these things. I'm running around two enemies in the Mega Man one stage. That's just, that's just strange. Should, ah, God. Let's try and save the uh, Thunder Beam till I need it. I think I called it Lick Beam early, didn't I? Oh. Yup! Oh, thank god. Um, the ice physics seem a bit off in this game because normally you jump and the ice physics immediately stop affecting you. But not in this game. It's not to throw you off. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the gimmick of the stage. Uh, oh, I've screwed that up. These little icicles are dropped on the screen. They, they're, they're not instant death spikes, thank god. Um, but they can block your path. They're not not very frequent, actually. So, come on, there's gonna be one dropping around here, I do believe. Yes. And then I've got a really awkward jump. Oh, I made it! And we got a uh, big guy who's a little early. Come on, do a little big jump, big jump, big jump. Thank you! I haven't actually used Leg Beam yet. Uh, Thunder Beam, sorry. Uh, I'm also using it here because this bit's awkward. Oh god. And Sniper Joe's a. dying like free hits, sort of thing. 
Yes. And it's quite good at taking those things out. Um, at least if it hits consistently. And we've got this giddy here is just an on the ground and unhittable. Um, anyone else seem to notice that the Buster animation is a bit weird? Um, I'm pretty sure the Black Bean was a, a shot weapon, not a thrown weapon. Mega Man 1. Oh well. Um, I've got a life spare. I'm, let's attempt the boss. I haven't got loads of health. Let's attempt the boss of the boss to see how far I can get. But, um, no promises. I'm gonna give this one shot. Um, I'm just, whoa. <sighs> uh, oh god, he does a lot of damage. Back off. Thank God. Oh, I'd be okay with this, but the ice physics are really throwing me off. Ah! Oh, yes! Nice one, even if you use the weakness. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Um, I could hit twice and most what there goes my life bar. That's sort of what I meant about the really early games. They, the damage ratios are literally equal either way. So if your boss kills you in three hits, you kill the boss in three hits with the weakness. So that was interesting. Ah, that went quite smoothly actually. Um, that's about that's, that's the smoothest I've ever played this game. Granted, I'm on one, one life or something, but that's not too bad. I'm going to take a like, slight pause now and I'll get back to you, um, I'll get back, back to you tomorrow. Catch you later.